are now available on Tata Sky channel number 526. Welcome to Matching Pricks now India's first property channel you're watching the urban debate and free discourse so let's take a look at what's making headlines today the recent protest against the real estate developers and builders in the NCR region who are like Amrapali group Antrish group JP group and such others who are not fulfilling their commitments and promises and project delays may find a mention in parliament citizens voices are being heard in the question hour of Lok Sabha tonight in the urban debate we have Member of Parliament Anupriya Patel who raised her voice against growing property delays. Meanwhile, home buyers protest against delays in the NCR are growing bigger and bigger by the day. Home buyers of Unitex Aldo Grove luxury villas take to the streets today. India Bulls real estate announces Q4 results, expansive funds and tax expenses pull down the company's net profit, but the company manages to reduce its debt by 16%. we bring you details yeah. well the big story that's been the big story for the last week a project delay is the biggest nightmare really of a home buyer when you put your entire life savings into a home and it's just not delivered at magic bricks now we began a cam- campaign last week on developers who are failing to meet their commitments to find out what you can do as a home buyer Our phones have been ringing ever since. We're going to try and answer as many of those phone calls as we can. Anand Patwal, the next president of the Consumer Guidance Society of India, joins me in the studio. Nirav Jani, associate partner at Hariyani and Company, join me as well. Gentlemen, thank you for uh, joining us. You know, I want to I, I I want to bring your attention to what's happening in the NCR region, which was mentioned in Parliament as well today. The fact that developers might be turning around now, even in court, and saying. we don't have the money to pay so even if the court says okay you have to give your money back or you have to pay a penalty or you have to compensate the buyer in some way or the other if the developer lacks the ability financially to do so what happens after that anand patwardhan well there is uh, always a consumer protection act that can come to your remedy here in such cases where a compensation can be claimed for the delay in getting possession and compensation can be claimed from the date promised Mm. right up to the date till possession is delivered okay no but if he doesn't have the money to either complete his construction or pay you that compensation then what happens then it becomes a difficult situation because then you're actually banging your head against a stone wall mm. but the law doesn't remain silent there what happens is the matter can go on and ultimately the developer can be sent to jail can be sent to jail um, of course that's not a solution for people getting that's not a solution getting, for a home buyer the, who's waiting yes. for their home nirav jani any other option yeah so it may be a little far fetched but in certain projects if possible the buyer should come together and maybe analyze uh, that if possible can they contribute and con- finish the construction themselves so if they have and if they can put up a team together who can assist them in finishing the pro- uh, in finishing the project and there is a considerable amount of money that has that that is left and they decide that let us come together and let us finish the construction mm. uh, they can make that proposal to the court and maybe they can do that uh, right. under so, under guidance in the order of a court so one option is to cut your losses the other one is to pour money more money into into that buy and try and finish it yourself as a group where you hire a contractor and uh, get the job done i have another question for the two of you and that is this we talk about compensation a lot on these shows the fact that uh, you know more far of awards a certain level of compensation to delays there is a mention of compensation in some of our contracts anywhere between 2% upwards my question is this what is the payment plan of that compensation is it monthly is it quarterly is it annual at what point will the home buyer who's waiting for possession of a delayed property receive the compensation on well that will depend if there is any such clause in the agreement where in case of delay but the compensation shall be paid for every day of delay or for every month of delay if there's uh, the agreement is silent on that then i think one can very well take up per month so i think that's the way one can start 
and that also becomes a kind of a dangler before the builder mm. as to how fast he can complete the construction and hand over possession. You know, that's in an ideal world. But what we've heard from builders these days is that, of course, we'll pay you compensation. We'll pay you compensation on possession when we close this entire deal and, you know, we, we finally close our accounts on this particular home. Now, my problem with that argument is that if I'm already waiting for possession, six, seven, eight years, I don't know when possession is coming. So in that case, how long will I have to wait for compensation? Nirav, is there any specification in any of the laws, including MOFA, that specifies the payment of compensation? No, unfortunately it does not. So it will be an agreement that will govern uh, the payment of compensation. Uh, but in the event your agreement is silent and you realize after execution that there is no compensation, the builder has not, has not delivered uh, uh, the possession when he ought to, then uh, you will have to call upon the builder by writing a letter uh, mm. in saying that because you have breached, uh, breached the agreement, You'll be, uh, you'll be liable to pay compensation and then take it from there as to how the builder responds to it. Okay, so unfortunately, this is really important for our viewers watching at home. Unfortunately, there is no law in the country right now that specifies when and how that compensation should be paid out, provided it's already listed in your document. Even if it is listed in the document that a developer will give you 2% or 4%, there's no specification on how that payment will be made. Nirav, is there a specification in RERA? Will that, uh, will that include a payment plan? Yeah, I, I guess uh, they also have a provision wherein the, uh, the authority can step in and take over the project and, uh, and complete the entire project. So that remedy is available in RERA, which is not available as on today. Mm. And that's why I suggested that you know, something similar to that can be done uh, till, RERA, till RERA actually comes in. Oh, it, so, might be, it might be a longish wait for RERA. In the meantime, Ravi Singh is on the phone line from Gurgaon. <laughs> Ravi Singh, go ahead. What's your question? Good evening, ma'am. Ravi Singh here. Yes. What yes, happened? Actually, I booked two flights for one my daughter, one for myself. Hmm. One was the Green City Biltec, Noida based uh, builder. Okay. This was the this was done about uh, ten years back, 2006 to be very exact. I gave money. I paid five and a half lakh rupees for the the. Okay. Case went to the consumer court. Consumer court has decided to evict the people, and they were arrested. Nothing has come so far. Okay. Second case was the Faridabad thing for my flight. This was with the Gurgaon based Pal Infrastructure Builders. That case is pending. It has been issued in my favor, but the money is not coming still. Money has I don't not... know what to do. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Anand Patradhan, if the court has already awarded a sentence in the favour of the buyer, but the builder still hasn't paid, what does the buyer do now? Well, if it's a civil court, I think he can very well take up proceedings for contempt of court. Okay. If it's a uh, complaint filed before the consumer fora, then he can proceed in two ways. If it's a uh, final order, he can very well proceed under Section 25.3 for execution and recovery of compensation amount. Mm as well as proceed under section 27 for non-compliance of the order where there is an order directing possession. So the developer has to eventually go to jail? Is that the option here? Uh, yes. Because what, so if, the if, there if is there's punishment. contempt of court, if there's contempt of court and I take that up and file another complaint, what happens then uh, in that case? Will the court, what will the court do then? Well, in such situation also, the, uh, you know, that matter also will be tried. Mm. Because someone filing a complaint afterwards, I mean, someone is already sentenced to jail and then someone files a complaint, there will be a trial on that particular matter also. And subsequently, there will be an order passed. Whatever is that order, even under execution in that order, the builder is likely to be sentenced to another round of jail. Now, you know, no builder would like to get stuck up like this because the building construction line has huge profits. Mm. That money must have got invested somewhere or the other. And there has to be some property estates that are available to be which attached. Can be, to yes, which can be attached. You know, because this is this is the disappointing thing, Nirav, and I want an answer for our uh, you know for our viewer right now, who just called in. Here's a senior citizen who's taken the trouble. Ravi Singh has taken the trouble to go to court over both of those homes that he unfortunately bought. He bought two homes, neither of which were delivered over 10 years. He went to court, he got judgments in his favour on both cases and still nothing has happened. This sort of, I don't know, it, it takes away the faith in the courts a little bit. 
Uh, not really, because I think... Uh, no, because see, everyone who comes on the show, and we've had lawyers on the show for the last three, four days, and they've all said, go to consumer court, go to consumer court, go to consumer court. But even after that, even after doing all of that, if we can get no answer, what do we do now? No, it's... it's. I mean, I, I don't think so it takes away the faith. I mean, there's a process that is involved. One is that you determine your rights. When the court gives an order in your favor, your rights are determined. Mm. The second is that the... Uh, the party against whom the order has been passed does not obey the order. So there is another process that is involved where you can go and execute that order. Mm. Of course, one is the contempt, which which may not generally help you practically because it, it's the breach of the order by the person against whom it's passed. The second is the execution. So mm. you can very well go and ask the court that please execute your order because mm. the, pers the party is not obeying it. Mm. And that would involve uh, attachment of properties, uh, uh, disclosure of properties, uh, sale of them and handover uh, of the money to you if it's a money and if it is a specific performance then the court can also execute the agreement for and on behalf of that party and give you title to the property. All right, Anupriya Patel joins us right now. She's an MP from Mirzapur who brought up the problem of project delays in Parliament. Uh, Anupriya Patel, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us, uh, you know, why you why you brought it up in Parliament today, and we realize that it's turning out into be to be a massive problem. I know the central government will turn around and say, "Hey, we passed RERA, which has not been notified yet." But in the meantime, what should home buyers do? Anupriya, can you hear me? See, I have been watching television news wherein. I'll Yes. Could you could you repeat your question? Yeah, Hello? yeah. Anupriya, I, I, I want to I want to on behalf of home buyers, I want to thank you for bringing up the problem in Parliament. But I want to understand now, while we wait for RERA to be notified by the central government, in the meantime, what should home buyers be doing from a government point of view? How can we seek justice? You know, that's exactly what was on my mind when I raised this issue because when I was watching the television all these days, I was seeing that this is, you know, becoming a big agitation. People are protesting almost everywhere in the NCR region against big developers. And I was glad that, you know, my government has bought, uh, uh, you know, given to the nation this Real Estate uh, Act 2016. However, the major concern remains that, you know, it's not retrospective. Now, it will take some time to get implemented. So, in the meanwhile, what should people actually do? So I thought of, uh, you know, bringing uh, this entire issue to the notice of our whole parliament on the first day itself so that the government, you know, gets geared up and thinks that the issue, this is an issue which needs immediate attention because people are protesting everywhere and the government has to take a step so that some form of solace is given to them. That was my whole intention behind raising it on the first day. And I think I have definitely, you know, created a spark in the mind of my government because already the government is very conscious. That is why it bought the Real Estate Act. But in that time gap, you know, what should people actually be doing? This is something that I want my government to take up on an immediate basis. Anupriya, I have two questions for you. The Real Estate Regulatory Authority Act, which is very commendable, I'll agree with you, the great job done by the government, has not been notified yet by the central government, will not be actioned until it is notified. Can you tell us what the delay is behind that notification? See, I cannot really, uh, you know, throw light on what is the reason for the delay, but I understand that these are procedural delays which are very, very natural, you know, an act takes some time to get implemented. And this is the point where I have harped. I have literally said this in the parliament that the act should not take a lot of time in getting implemented because if we waste a lot of time in, you know, these uh, procedural things, then more and more buyers are going to be affected and their, their miseries are going to increase manifold. So it should be implemented as early as possible and the government has to really get into a mechanism wherein this process is speeded up so that we are able to give immediate relief to people. When you say give immediate relief to people and solace that you have asked the government to consider giving home buyers at this point, what form is that solace in? What sort of relief are you talking about? See, if you take a uh, look at the kind of people who are protesting, what I can understand that these are all, you know, upper middle class, middle class, uh, middle income group uh, families who are investing their life term savings, their, uh, you know, earnings, everything that they have accumulated all these years. Why? Because they want to get a small house. 
Now people have made almost 90-95% of the payments and they are still not getting the possession of their houses on the dates which were promised. And in many cases the delays are like more than 3 to 4 years. It's going up to 5 years, 6 years, 7 years. I've even learnt of cases where the, uh, the de developers were not even uh, having a license yeah, but, but and they have taken money from the buyers. What, what will so, the government do now? First thing is that... Yeah, what will the government do now? What sort of action can the government take in these cases? See, the gov See, the government is the ultimate in any system. If uh, public money is stuck up somewhere, it is the government machinery which can come forth and create some kind of a pressure on the developer lobby and make sure that either the uh, you know people get possession of their houses or the money which was invested, they get it back. So there is nothing above the government. It is the, you know, we are a democratic nation. So if the government has taken notice of this issue, I am very confident that definitely there is going to be some relief to the buyers. They will get the possession of the houses as early as possible and their money is not going to be stuck up and wasted like this. All right, Anupriya, stay with us. Uh, Nirav Jani and Anand Patwardhan are in the studio with me. They're both senior advocates. Uh, Anand Patwardhan, how much elbow room does the government have to ensure either delivery or compensation at this point? I don't think the government has any uh, direct role that can be played here. In fact, at some point of time, I was also contemplating whether it's really some of these government policies, particularly the local level municipal corporations and their policies, by which projects which need to be sanctioned fast or maybe single window clearance that is required is lacking. Mm. There is no accountability as far as the government departments are concerned or the municipal corporations are concerned, even in RERA. Mm. So ultimately, it has to be one citizen against another citizen. How is the government really helping it out? Hmm. If that, the government needs question. to help, then perhaps cleaning up its its system on the local level. No, the might government be a good does not start. have any direct role. You are right. The government does not have a direct role. It is not any government institution which is directly accountable. But you can't say that the government cannot do anything. The government can, uh, you know, invite the developers. They can have a talk. They can have a dialogue. There can be a solution which can be found out. You can't really say that just because the government is not directly involved, so you know it's away from all responsibility. Oh, Anupriya, Anupriya Patel, uh, are you? you know, this always. would suggest. This would suggest that developers are within. Uh, they have the ability right now to finish projects and actually deliver homes, and they haven't done so because nobody has had a dialogue with them. And a dialogue with the government will simply do the trick. Uh, I'm not sure how that's possible. See, up till now, nobody was even paying attention to the issue. When these kind of protests started happening, you know, the government thought of actually bringing an act. That act is now to be implemented. So somewhere, because of these protests and agitation, the issue has come to the notice of the government. And it is also realizing that thousands of people are getting affected and lakhs and lakhs and crores of money is going to be wasted. People are not getting possession of their houses. So there is, you know, there is a hope that the government can, uh, uh, you know, take some steps to provide relief to people in some way or the other. Either it can, you know, uh, ensure that maybe, you know, uh, not more delays in giving the possession of the houses to the affected parties. Something like that could be done. Uh, Nirav Jani, is that is that possible? How do you? How, what is your reaction to this suggestion? My view is that. Um you must first identify the reason for delay, mm. whether it is a financial reason or whether there are permissions or sanctions that are pending that are causing the delay. In either of the cases, there should be something akin to a class action where all, all the flat purchasers should approach the court and they, they must ask the builder to put it on record on affidavit as to what is the reason for delay. Mm. And once that is ascertained, a solution must be brought and maybe through a maybe through monitoring it through the court, the builder must be accountable in, in delivering. So if, if at all there is a financial problem, then maybe he should, uh, he should uh, do kind of an, some other person who has got the resources, uh, can put in the money and complete it, have that, have that solution. If there are permissions and sanctions, then that particular authority should, be, should also be made a party and should be made accountable as to what's the reason for not granting the sanctions and permissions. All right, we have G.B. Sahani who's on the phone line from Delhi with a question for us. Mr. Sahani, go ahead. What's your question? Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. So basically, I have, I have purchased one flat from 
आम्रपाली ड्रीम वैली आम्रपाली बिल्डर ग्रेटर नोएडा ओके एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ बुकिंग दे सेड दे ईच एंड एवरी मतलब डिले वोंट बी देयर बिकॉज़ द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एक्सटेंशन हैज बीन सॉल्वड आउट सो वी विल बी डिलीवरिंग द फ्लैट बाय द मंथ ऑफ जून 2015 ओके बट आई हैव बुकड द फ्लैट ऑन मार्च 2013 And since uh, I had I had taken the plan of construction link plant, and from the as per the construction link plant, 95 percent of my payment has been uh, taken by this Amrapali, and the project is yet not uh, been completed. Only the structure of the tower is being completed, and nothing as such facilities, yeah, as such uh, nothing as only the structure is there in there. Okay. And so uh, as of now, only the uh, the position is not possible. Also now. because at present i am paying the bank emi is also okay. supported and okay okay so i'll give you I'll, i'll give you two answers first of all i i will ask our legal experts to give you an answer but uh, gb sahani we will have the management of amrapali join us on the show at 9:30 this evening to answer questions from home buyers like yourself and tell us why they're seeing these delays and what can be done as a solution but uh, nirav jani and anand pratwardhan what can he do now I mean, uh, it's uh, it's pretty clear that I mean, f- first of all, I mean, if the if 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 only five percent is left, that means uh, most of the construction should and ought to have been over. Mm. So I don't know what uh, payment link plans were had been put in the agreement. However, be that as it may, uh, if if even if at this stage uh, he wants to withdraw and wants to cancel, then he should serve upon a notice and say that uh, you have. we have breached the agreement and i do right. not wish to proceed further right. please refund the money with an x amount of compensation uh, including that interest payment emi so okay. on and so forth if he does not want to and he wants to continue we can also approach the court and say please ask him to complete the project within a within, stipulated period of time within due time mukesh is also on the phone line from mumbai mukesh what's your question yeah hello hello yes go ahead yeah namaste my name is mukesh pujara mumbai se bol raha hu ji boliye maine ek flat pune mein book kiya ha 2012 में जी टोटल फ्लैट वैल्यू इज 67 डेवलपर कौन था मिस मुकेश जी मुकेश और वी सीम टू हैव लॉस्ट मुकेश ऑन द फोन लाइन विल ट्राई एंड गेट गेट हिम बैक ऑन दैट फोन लाइन बट यू नो आई आई वांट टू आई वांट टू सर्कल बैक टू व्हाट वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द पॉसिबिलिटी दैट सिंस अनुप्रिया ब्रॉट इट अप ब्रॉट इट अप द गवर्नमेंट माइट बी पेइंग मोर अटेंशन ओवर द नेक्स्ट कपल ऑफ मंथ्स टू this sort of delay problem this is a good thing from a home buyer's point of view because oh, why i'm you know yes. why i'm saying this is because i i just wanted to make a point is i don't i can't see anyone's i don't know who's on the panel but somebody said that you know the uh, biggest solution is that uh, the affected party has to go to the court what i'm saying is thousands of people are affected and you imagine uh, a situation in which thousands of people are approaching the court and many must have already approached the court this is going to be a very time consuming process mm-hmm. and what i was trying to say is that if the government initiates some kind of a dialogue maybe see there are possibilities of out of court settlements there could be a possibility where we do not have to go into this lengthy procedure of uh, you know courts and judgments and maybe something could be done to give relief to the buyers that is what i meant all right so what possible... is the ultimate solution yes. that eventually the person when he is left with no option he goes to the court given that there are so many people uh, aggrieved by this problem the possibility of a mediation perhaps uh, you know or a system of mediation or an ombudsman created by the government who might be able to start a dialogue between uh, you know builders and buyers anupriya thank you so much for joining us on the show and we join your campaign we are glad to have you as part of this campaign for home buyers we hope you'll be back on the show soon to give us updates on what the government is doing uh, nirav jani and anand patwardhan thank you for spending time with us but like we promised we're going to take a quick break on the other side the management of amrapali chairman and managing director of amrapali anil sharma will join us on the show and answer questions from home buyers We'll put them all under one roof. Don't go anywhere.
You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.